back on the range again for another QD review. Today we are going to be reviewing the B&T Mark II 9mm pistol. So this is a uh, limited run from B&T out of Switzerland. Fantastic little pistol. Uh, the Mark II really resembles the Sphinx pistols and uh, definitely mirrors the USW in quite a few different ways that B&T has already re uh, released. So it is a double action, single action with a uh, nifty little hammer on it because it is almost a blind hammer, but it has enough knurling there that it's still easy enough to get. If you are needing to pull that back, you can do it. Ambidextrous safeties, either side. You have your mag release, real simple, on there, and then your slide release. Everything's really straightforward onto it. It does have metric 13 uh, left hand thread, which is a little bit obscure for North America, but B&T being out of Europe, that's what they're running. We do have a Surefire X300U on there as well, because you know how much I love lights. So we're gonna put a couple rounds down range. One other really cool factor about this is it does take CZ75 magazines, so it's not a proprietary mag. Any of the magazines, you can just run standard CZ75, Shadow 2, Shadow 1 magazines. So that is a fantastic little bonus out of these. Mags aren't gonna be hard to get or anything like that. So let's see uh, if we can put some rounds down range. All right, one other thing to note real quick, the gear I'm using today, really simple. This is the uh, Tasmanian Tiger Warrior Belt and Universal Holster. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this. I don't have to be worrying about getting special Kydex holsters. Mag pouches, Molly right onto the side, and I got a couple extra mags in my back pocket there because I only had three pouches, so I just slapped them on. This kit is super easy, snaps right off. I don't actually have any uh, inner belt even running on this. It is secure enough just by putting a little bit of tension onto it not moving anywhere so it's an awesome kit check that out at the link below one nifty little thing with these guys we do have the usw 13 round extensions which if you weren't in canada this would give you a 33 round magazine which is uh really cool in canada it just gives me something a little extra it's fun <laughs> all right let's see how this thing shoots All right, so first mag through it. Double action trigger is a little bit long. It wasn't super gritty, it was uh, not bad at all. Single action trigger, so we're clear here. Single action trigger has a tiny amount of take up, which is actually is kind of nice, because uh, once you do fire, you can get back onto it. You can do that initial squeeze, and then you just have a really nice light break. And the reset, of course, is right there. And you still have that little bit of uh, you know over travel going back, so you have that little pre-travel before you re-engage. All right, do another mag. Okay, one thing about this, not a huge fan of the sights. I think in my head, they have it backwards because you have a black front sight with a two dot rear sight, which for myself, I don't want anything happening on the rear sight. I want it to be black. I'd rather have a dot up front than in the back. That way I'm focusing on the front sight. But if you're running an optic on this, that's a moot point anyway, because it is an optics ready pistol. One screw that comes off and you can run any of the micro red dots, something like the uh, shield sight or even like the smaller Trigicon sights. So that's another one that you could uh, put on there. All right. Overall, I'll say that's a fantastic little pistol.